The startling footage we're about to show you was photographed by It was sent to the local news bureau there and sent to us via satellite just a few minutes ago. What you're about to see may disturb you. Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 along with my cohorts Krieger Margin 1 and Orphan Joker. It was at this moment that he knew. That's it man, game over man, it's game over! As you can see, I'm not excited. <laughs> As we have entered into chapter 5 of this Resident Evil series. And I have tried my damnedest to find some kind of enjoyment in this series. Anyways, we watched Resident Evil Retribution. We have one more movie after this. I've seen this movie before. I was 18 at the time when it came out and I saw it on DVD at my parents' house. Uh, when I last time I saw it, I wasn't terrified one bit. I was laughing the entire time about how stupid it was. Little did I know that if you have the previous knowledge of the other four films before watching this one, it's not as funny. It's more painful to watch. Like, let me go through some of my notes that I have placed over here. Before I start, there was no single positive thing in this. Besides one, one thing, um, the liquor actually looked decent for the first and probably only time in this fucking series. Anyways, they recapped the entire series again. They reshot, reversed, and sped up the intro scene again. Alice is horrible at getting caught all the time. This is probably the third time she's been caught. Everything was very obvious of what's going on. It's pretty much the same things that happen in the other movies, like the, uh, the dream sequence. It seemed like it was a ripoff of Dawn of the Dead. Besides the liquors, or the super liquors, the CGI is still ungodly horrible. I don't know how the CGI has not improved at all the more money that they keep getting for this fucking series. I... I can't go through all of my notes without fucking rich. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's... Let's... Fucking do this! The soundtrack, I thought was probably the worst soundtrack I've heard in a fucking movie ever because it was so goddamn generic. The interrogation scene I thought was the probably the worst and dumbest interrogation scene I've ever seen on a silver screen. The convenience of all of the bullshit, like, oh look, here's her outfit, here's her guns, here's this, they're just like, it's so fucking convenient, too much like a fucking video game. Uh So I just got a trivia, fun fact, knowing about the soundtrack. Every other Resident Evil film had a different composer for the soundtrack. This is, however, the first time the music was written by the same people of two consecutive films. The duo, uh, the Tom and Andy, a, du a duo of composers, sorry. The name of the, the two composers is Tom and Andy. They did the score for Afterlife and returned to do the soundtrack for this film as well. And I remember Afterlife being a bad soundtrack also. So, as we said, we went into this series not trying to compare it to the video game series at all. As the film franchise as itself, this was trying too hard to be like the video games from the fucking release Biohazard number one, Terminate Them. I am a red queen and I turn like a robot. Those were like fucking loading screens. Like, look, look at this. Look at this. I can understand if this amount of training can happen for a person, but I believe that Alice couldn't do all those flippity flip flops without powers. Where and when does she learn about uh, Ada Wong without just saying, oh, I know who you are. It's like, okay, you know where who she is and what, who she worked for. Where did you learn that? 
Did she read a book? Did she read the computers? We don't know. Wesker is suddenly good in this movie. Um, no real reason except for the very end. It's because he's fighting against the Red Queen, who is apparently the evil mastermind, mastermind bitch when she's the one that was trying to contain it to begin with. Okay. Dialogue in this film was the level of a third grader. Maybe lower. I thought it was absolute shit. In film dump. On how the world ended. Bullshit. It was because of greed and stupidity. They saw a simulation, sold it to China. They saw a simulation, sold it to somebody else. And then the world ended. I stopped writing notes halfway through the movie, I'm just saying. Um, obvious bad 3D effects is obviously bad. I hate the Axe Man. He has no origin or reason of existing other than I'm big, I'm bad, I kill. And my last note I took in this movie was the Nazi Zombies. I think that's when I also shut down the first time I watched the movie was the Nazi Zombies. Everything else after this made no fucking sense. Everything else after this was either hilariously bad or no enjoyment. I have screamed into the blanket next to me a thousand times. I beat my head on the floor. Literally. The, the x-rays. The Mortal Kombat x-rays in this fucking movie. Owen. Wesker. Jill, Leon, Alice, and Ada Wong, along with the U.S. government and the military that is somehow still alive in one tiny pocket at the White House is the last stand for hum humanity. God knows what the hell they're going to do in the last film and what fucking fuckery they're going to do to ruin all of that. Hopefully I didn't fucking jinx it. Again, like, Wesker is good, but for what cause? He was the ultimate baddie in the last film. Anyways, I'm... I'm done. I, I, honestly, I'm not done with the series because I, I would ride this through, but I'm done with this fucking movie. This movie is the worst movie in the series as of right now. It made Afterlife barely bearable to watch, and it made the first two films look like masterpieces because so far the third one is the strongest film in the series. This film... <sighs> It, honestly, I'm giving it a .5. Like, I can't stand this movie. And it's hilarious how both times I've seen this film in my lifetime, I immediately checked out at halfway point with the Nazi zombies. That is, honestly, hilarious. And... Somebody please take this mic away. Get me out of this spot. I'm done talking about this fucking movie. This is I, the Great Margini. Hello, hello everyone. Um, so I'm going to get to start off with some financials and then some trivia that's interesting that I was looking up while Mike was raging. First of all, the audience and the critics rate this as followed, which Mike might be surprised by this. Um, the critics rate this a 2.8, and the audience rates it a 5.1. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> a 5.1 This is the worst one! Which, which is the lowest rating of all of the Resident Evil films. No, Continuing on, um, to make Michael even more angry, this movie made a fuck ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> the budget was $65 million, and they made $240.2 million. Oh, the <laughs> is now $30, $30 million more dollars. And the CGI still looks like <laughs> shit. The liquor looks okay. That's the only one word. Okay, okay. Now, <laughs> now to talk about some of the trivia things. Um, they made a pun by having the liquor run through a liquor store. Some people didn't like Leon as casting. Um, Jensen Axles, Ackles actually tried out for the part and was turned down for the... Leon. Also, another person that tried for the role of Leon was the guy who voiced him in the video games, and they said they just didn't see it. Also, uh, Michelle Rodriguez was brought back in this. She played three characters, that were, uh, and one of the characters was she played a zombie double. They just didn't have enough extra. Um, <laughs> the baghead scene was not initially planned in the script, and they just added it in while they were filming. They were just like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? So then they did it. Mid-film. <laughs> also, at the end of the film, when they had the X-Ray Mortal Kombat things, you know why they added that? Because the person who directed this film also directed the Mortal Kombat <laughs> movies, and it was an inside joke. 
the good Mortal Kombat movies. You know those. From the early 2000s. This is the fucking skits we're wanting. Turning me into a goddamn raging zombie. Now, I will talk about my good things I like about this film. Which is two things. And then I will tell you the 23 reasons why I don't like this film. <laughs> I enjoyed the Bagheads being back. Uh, I really like the Baghead character because it's kind of mysterious. Oh, and, and there's two Lost characters in this because I like Lost. That, that is the only things that I like about this film. That's all, folks. Baghead. Lost. That's it. And they killed all... They did not use the lost characters. Good. I'm going to try and go through this quick because there's 23 things and I could make this an hour review if I wanted to. They kept with the theme of copying the Matrix. I hated that. Um, the opening scene was stupid. I didn't even need to watch the rest of the series or look at things in reverse. Wesker being a good guy annoys me. Recasting. Bad. Uh, there's a general lack of logic. Why would you put a suit in a room with a prisoner that fits her perfectly? Wesker dialogue, he's fucking cringe and he doesn't look real because there's stupid sunglasses. Take off the sunglasses and try and look somewhat normal. And and what's with this? I didn't write this down, but literally everybody has like skin tight, like leather. It, I get it. This is 2012 now. It's a video game. This is 2012 now. The guns were bad. Terrible, terrible guns. The primary gun that she had as you approach it. By the way, I never saw that thing reload. It must have been a laser gun. Um, <laughs> and also, it's magnetic that goes to you because she shouldn't have had the gun several times, but she just happened to have them. So it looked like to be a pistol, like a Glock, that had some kind of weird frame that kind of looked like a submachine gun, but it was semi and fully auto with no switch. She could just think it, and then it turned into a semi or full auto. Without her flipping any kind of switch to switch from full or semi auto, she was shooting it in semi auto the end of the movie at the spider thing the good news is somebody had a ump 45 and it had a holographic sight instead of like an acog that was good but he didn't kill anyone because they killed they killed him off pretty quick the red queen's cringe they didn't start calling her that for a long time um there was a bunch of bad guys with gas masks and not a single gas grenade or smoke grenade or any kind of thing like that the bullet disc did not make sense logically and that shit was useless and ridiculous, and it must have had some really, really high caliber bullets in it because it made them go flying and blood was splattering like they just got attacked by a super liquor. How is Baghead still alive? He got completely fucked in the last movie. Where's the clone army? The gun training scene was cringe. The super liquor was terrible. That car was fucking ridiculous and would never survive any of the things that happened in that combat scene. Leon was fucking terrible. I especially hated the very last scene when he grabbed the Asian chick by her inner thigh when they're just casually sitting next to each other when there's no hint of a romantic connection before that. Ramp through the truck with two different vehicles. They leaped up. And one of them's like a lowrider that's been through a lot of damage. Um, the liquor not caring about the other zombies and just running them over and killing them. Eggs. The egg scene with the little girl, that pissed me off. Number one, it was a reference to Alien, and I read on here that not a lot of people like that. Number two, when the little girl was in the alien sack and they pulled her out, she was completely dry. I feel like there should have been some kind of excrement. And then the Mortal Kombat thing, I, I hated that. That was my last thing I wrote, and like I said, he directed Mortal Kombat. So, this film gets a very prestigious spot on my ratings because I've only rated one or two other films this bad. This is a one. This is the worst. My, my ratings are from the best possible movies to the worst possible movies. This is the worst possible movie that they could have made. Bad. Trash. Garbage. Go home. I hope that I never have to see a movie this bad again, but knowing Mike Check Productions, I will see several movies like this. You know what time it is. Science time is dropping. Doot 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 doot. Why am I doing this again? Science. What is science? Why is science? Who is science? Whoever created this movie did not ask any of those questions. At all. The guns worked in this movie. So, kind of. Uh, continuity. Scientific continuity. You can make up stuff. I've said it several times. You can make stuff up. Like, 
cars flying or zombies are smart, but it has to exist all the time. It's like the zombies in the residential scene, kind of dumb, you know, but they have these things in their mouth. Then you have uh, Russian zombies. They're smart. They can shoot guns, but have like no special abilities. And they're like, oh, I can run. I can shoot a gun. I can drive a car or a motorcycle. But, like, when I go to run up at a guy, I just kind of, like, walk into him slowly. Makes no sense. Alice, we, uh, d- they're discussing, you know, she has absolutely no clothes on. They're torturing her. And then a suit pops out of the wall. That makes no sense. Why would they, why would they like, give her a suit? I know somebody else already mentioned that, Krieger margin. But it, when I say that suit, that suit already had clips on the back that magically fit the first guns she encountered in the entire movie, which she was able to keep through the entire movie, despite having no backup ammo. (laughs) And despite, like Krieger says, you know, magically came back to her, she gave them away. She set them down. They got kicked away. And then they have this entire last scene where she has ice picks, which she hasn't had anywhere in the rest of the movie. And she does a terrible job of fighting with them. She even loses them and starts fighting better, only to be hit in the chest. The car that they jumped into. She has this magical, like super cool car. It looks like like a fancy car. What was it? Like a like a Lincoln or a BMW or something? Or was it a I don't know what the car was. I don't know cars. This car looked better after running through the truck than when she first got into the truck. She runs through so many different things. She literally, like, the first time you see her, she smacks into the liquor. And this car looks pristine and perfect, despite smashing into this giant thing. And then she drives through all this stuff. She gets some scuffs. She literally drives through a truck, which is crazy to begin with, because it just blows up, which makes no sense, because there's no gas tank or anything inside this truck. And the, the little angel emblem is still on the vehicle. She runs through I-beams. And the only thing that happens is the bumper kind of pops off and it still has the emblem on the, the little figurine angel on the front of the car. It makes absolutely no sense. I'm, I'm trying. I'm done. This movie. I can't even. I have only. We're moving on. Moving on from science. Doot, 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 doot. You broke my brain. I only have one positive. And the positive is, I thought, until I watched this movie, I thought that the Fast and Furious series was the most ridiculous and out of hand series ever. Because it just got weirder and more confusing. And we're just going to ramp cars out of skyscrapers and other Bullarchy that makes absolutely no sense. This series now lets me appreciate the Fast and Furious series just a little better because it's not as out of hand and ridiculous as this. This movie is the equivalent of somebody saying, I like this song because it has extra bass. But it's just like the Teletubbies theme song, which is the extra bass. Usually I'm not at a loss for words. And so this has hurt me. Not as bad as some have hurt me mentally. This has just hurt me at... They had so much opportunity and they made random explosion demon thingy. This movie wasn't funny. This movie was mildly entertaining. This movie had a lot of explosions. If this was any other movie, if it was just a, if it was a generic movie, if this movie was its own movie, I'd have been like a four and a half <laughs> because it had some cool explosions. But this movie was supposed to be from a series of science and understanding and guns and fighting and action and it just they just keep confusing themselves the only thing I have to say is the reason my brain broke 
because I was I had some optimism in this movie until the very very end scene, and that was the blonde haired sunglasses wearing dude. I don't care what his name is. Was literally like in the very beginning, Alice, we need you. We need to save humanity. And in the very end credit scene, there's like twenty guards, and then like it shows the entire planet, like swarming with all these crazy monsters and i'm like what part of humanity are you saving because all these people are gone number one number two they saved a clone girl this this through this entire movie it's just like clones this clone that clone person three people back and forth and all this stuff if they can clone people in a facility then why would i blow up a facility that has the ability to literally clone more humans Why would they blow up all of that to save, like, 20 military humans in the middle of a city on the U.S. Capitol, surrounded by every kind of monster you could think of, besides Frankenstein? I would have just killed all the bad guards, shut down the computer like they literally did in the first movie, which didn't, it wasn't even that hard, they were able to do it quite quickly, and then just take over the scanner thing, plug in everybody's DNA... They obviously have air trees and the convenient ecosystems down there in the middle of Russia where they obviously couldn't escape and, you know, nobody was, none of the monsters were coming to get them and I would have just created civilization down there in this bunker thing and just killed all the zombies and not, you know, made more of them. Instead, we're going to blow up this giant facility for what seems like absolutely no reason. And then go to what seems to be the most populated area on the entire planet of both humans, so like 20 of them, and monsters. I'm going to give this movie... Two licks. I would recommend watching this movie to those who actually want to watch it. But and I'm saying it's like you recommend watching the movie. I do recommend watching this movie. As in, you skip the entire first five minutes, and then as soon as the bat, as the the video game character puts his hand on the red girl's leg, cut the movie. I don't know how they were able to like the world is pretty much completely destroyed, and humanity's only hope was blown up because we felt like it. Yet we need one more movie. I can't see how they're gonna... Because they always pick up where they left off. There's no way that they're able to to save humanity at this point. This is just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna make a new movie. And that's, that's why it got such a low rating. Because it makes absolutely no sense. So the fact that they're making me watch one more despite literally doing the most ridiculous thing. I, I, I know I've been repeating myself, but it's... This next movie better... better do something, because this series is... Oh, it's gonna do something. This it's series... Gonna fucking end! This series is ridiculous. It's not like the Jason series or other series were like, we, we just decided we're gonna make funny stuff. Like, even the Shrek. Everyone's like, oh no, I don't want an a- Shrek the 8th. I would rather watch a Shrek the 8th than another Resident Evil. And they're supposed to be making a new one. Doot, 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 doot. That was Babbling with Josh. And we appreciate you if you've made it this far. Obviously, we have one more. We have one more. How many more do we have? I hate that I pick a project just to see it through. And it's one of the worst projects I've ever picked, but I also have the mindset of I need to finish it. Michael, I just want to remind you, you made this a priority. You pushed many other things back because you wanted to watch this first. I I just want to remind you that. Krieger Margin signing out. This is my fault, but we need to see it through. We need to see it through. Orphan Joker, signing out. This is Mike Check 95 
signing out to the second to last time of this fucking series. God save us all. Run. 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 Run.